This is an introduction to the WEMC250 or Wireless Electric Motor Control, developed for use in starter fertilizer application. As it states in the title, the unit is wireless, which means no hard line is needed for communication between the control box and the receiver box. The receiver box will mount to your implement and connects to a 12 volt, 30 amp power source. The product line then plugs into the bottom of the receiver box, which means no product line to the cab is needed for your pressure gauge. The receiver box also has an input for a implement whisker lift switch and also a 16 pin connection that will hook to any Raven vinyl cable. The receiver box is also weather resistant, as is the control box. This is a demonstration of the Wireless Electric Motor Control 250 or the WEMC 250. This is the control unit. This is what's going to be mounted in the cab. It should be hooked to a 12 volt keyed power source. So when we power it up, we're going to get the master switch, boom one, and boom four lights are all going to be lit up. That means that the box is establishing communication with the receiver box. It's also going to give us a chance to change the configuration between PWM and PWM closed. The unit defaults to PWM. If you have a bypass style pump, you're going to want to switch to the PWM closed configuration. So this shows what it defaults to. It's establishing communication. After these three lights go out, means that the controller is ready to accept your input, basically. So we can turn on our master switch, and this will technically turn on the pump. All the valves are closed. There's a pressure switch inside the pump that's not going to allow it to, uh, to turn on. As we turn on each boom section, you can hear them activate in the back there. Right now our pressure is at zero. Our cal point right here is also set to zero. That's on a zero to 50 scale. That's just a reference number. You're gonna slowly go up and as you do, you can hear the motor kind of go on in the background there. Starting over here on the backlit screen, we see that uh, the unit is on. There is a one, two, three, and a four lit up on the screen. That's one for each of the booms, uh, one, two, three, four for the booms. And then our PSI, right now we're currently at 18 pounds of pressure, and our cal point is set to 10. As we move our cal point up or down, the pressure is going to kind of correspond with that. Your cal point is basically just the speed of your motor. So as we go up a little bit, now we're up to 13. And we know on our test stand under these conditions that if we set our cal point to 16, we're going to run right around 30 pounds of pressure. Now this system also has a built-in automatic pressure compensation, so if we're running down right now, we have all four booms activated, we want to shut off our outside boom. We're going to press the boom four switch to shut it off. We're going to see a slight pressure spike as there's more chemical in the line, and then it's going to self kind of regulate back down to 30 pounds of pressure on three booms. So here we go. And there's our spike. And as you can see pretty quickly, it's going to find its way back down to right around that 30 pounds of pressure range. You now on the opposite, when we turn this boom back on, we're going to see the spike go down. And in about the same amount of time, it's going to find its way back to the, to the set pressure. If your configuration is set to PWM, when you get to the end of your row and you're going to do a turn, you can actually just hit the master switch. You'll turn your valves off. You'll make your turn. You'll line back up. You'll go ahead and press the master switch again. It's going to open your four valves and it's going to get you right back to your, uh, your desired setting relatively quickly within a matter of a couple of seconds. Another way this same feature could be accomplished, on the receiver box there is an input right here that allows you to hook up, you know, an implement switch, a whisker switch, a lift switch, what have you, uh, right here. And we can demonstrate the same thing here rather than, this simulates tripping the master switch. So you can, when you lift up your row units, you'll hit that switch, make your turn, you'll set your row unit back down. So 
When the Wesker switch works very much like just pressing the master switch. The WEMC 250 will be available for purchase for planting season 2015. For more information on the WEMC 250 and other quality CNR Supply products, visit our website at www.crsupply.com.